Hello there everybody, Sam's Trains here, welcome back to the railway and I've got a very exciting video for you today and I say exciting because I think these train fare videos are definitely the most exciting ones. In fact I enjoyed the last one so much that I've been saving up big time since then so that I could go to another one uh, sooner than I would normally and I've literally just got back and uh, there are <laughs> about six bag full of stuff. I know it's a bit naughty to go and spend like this but uh, you know I don't do it all that often, and it was a few months since the last one. So, uh, yep, yeah, let's get started then and uh, see what I managed to grab hold of this time. And uh, let's see what bargains I managed to get. I'm really chuffed with this lot. Okay, I'm going to start with this bag first because it's see through. So, uh, you probably. Um, I don't know. In fact, that's not a good reason, actually, is it? Okay. I'm just rambling, I'm a bit excited. Okay, first thing then, we have the Midland Compound 1000 class from Backman now. He labelled that at £80, uh, and I think I paid a little bit less than that. I think it ended up at about 70 to 75 something like that. And uh, yeah, I've heard that those are really, really good, and uh, I've always wanted one, but I could never find them for less than, say, £90. So uh, yeah, I thought, I'm going to go with that. So uh, a Midland Compound by Backman, that is superb. And then... Yes, I went on with the old coaches again, and uh, let's show you in fact. Okay, so three of those, and I managed to pick up two of these as well. Yes, they've got different colour rooms and things, but uh, yeah, these are those little red coaches that I started a rake of, in fact, from the last train fair, and uh, these are from uh, Ravenstone Model Railways again, and uh, these were labelled at £5, but again, for this whole lot, I just I can't remember what I offered him. But uh, yeah, I think I offered... What did I offer? 100 I think. So uh, yeah, if that's 80, then I got this lot for 20, which is pretty good actually. So uh, yeah, that's not bad. Okay, so this one I've noticed is quite unusual. This one has the right white roof because it's an MSLR. So uh, yeah, good uh, points for anybody in the comments who can tell me what MSLR stands for. So that one's lovely. Um, obviously it's not quite the same as the rest, but uh, it does sort of match, so uh, that's fine. And I could even swap the roof if I wanted to. And then there's the standard LMS one. Um, I love those. And I've got a few already. Metal wheels, this one. And I thought for £5, or in fact less than £5 as it was, that was quite good. Now these coaches are quite unusual. I am not sure of the brand, but I saw on them that they had NEM couplings and uh, they also just looked pretty good quality. I think the wheels are metal. And for £7.50 each, I tell you what, they looked like... Remember those, uh, your model railway village or whatever it was called? Um, yeah, they looked like those. I'm not sure whether they are those because I never got, I never got hold of any of those, but uh, yeah. I might need some scissors on this. Let's have a look. I'm not 100% sure. I couldn't see that there was any brands written on them, but uh, I think we'll know better once I get this out. So let's see. It's been very well stuck in here. And I do hate getting these bags open. <laughs> okay, bear with me. Right. So yeah, no brand visible on the bottom. And are they metal wheels? No, I don't think so. Not, I can't really tell. But they are nicely painted. Look, you've got the brown doors on the ends. And yeah, I just think they're very nicely done. And for £7.50 or less, probably more like £7, with your NEM pockets as well, um, I thought that was a steal. So uh, there's three of those. And uh, hold that thought for later, because uh, there are more of them on the way. Uh, well, one more, I think. The only problem was I was walking around quite a long while at the train fair, uh, just seeing if I could find a break to go with these. But uh, I think I found one, but it wasn't in good condition, so uh, I didn't bother. But uh, yeah, I'm sure I've got something that will go with those. I thought those XL and Artiques looked quite similar, so if I'm desperate to use a break with this lot, I could probably steal that and uh, just use that for a little while. But uh, yeah, I wasn't going to buy something that was, you know, not good condition, just, uh, just for the hell of it. You know. And I can run these with my LMS coaches, but uh, yeah, I'm a little bit short on LMS coaches generally, so I thought for $7.50 a piece, I thought these would be fine. And uh, they are fine. They're, I think fine is the word. I mean, they're just very nice, very beautiful corridor coaches. And for much less than £10 each, I was very pleased with those. So uh, that's the first lot then, all them packed. I'm sorry that took a little while, but I promise they're not all in bags like that. So there we are, 100 quid for that lot. Let me know in the comments if you think that's good. Um, I would say this is probably worth 90 if it's okay. I don't know whether it's new or not, it doesn't look like it. But uh, yes, I'm not going to open this up today. I'm going to save that for another day. But uh, yeah, that's that lot then. Let me move these out of the way. Sorry about this. 
I know these these videos are a little bit, uh, they're not very polished, are they? But uh, yeah, it's just a ramble, and I know some, some people do enjoy a ramble, so yes. Right, the next box then, let's go with something a little bit easier to show you uh, for a change. A couple of locos here. Oh, and I was very pleased with these. Right, so we have an electric loco, something I don't do very often, and this is a Bobo Class 86. Don't think I have an 86 already, and uh, very lovely it is too. And uh, that was priced at £32.50. And then this was priced at £45, and this is a beautiful Patriot in uh, in black. And I've not ever seen a railroad one in black. I'm hoping it is in the right box and it's not one of those tender driven ones, but uh, I don't think it is. And it does look absolutely fantastic. So for £45, that was good. Now, what did I ask? him for. Uh, right, so I think I paid 45, 55, 65, 75. I think I offered him, maybe I offered him 70. Yeah, I offered him 70, I think. And he took it. So, uh, yeah, I was really pleased with that. So, uh, yeah, do the maths. Not sure exactly what it comes out at each, but uh, I think I offered him 70. It might have been 75, but I offered him 70. Okay, little bag. Let's see what's in this one. Oh, yes. Right, this is the person I bought the, uh, the Southern Railways um, utility van from last time. Okay, first things first then, just to one side very slightly, I bought three of these EWS uh, wagons. There we are, look. EWS, uh, I just thought they were lovely to be honest, Hornby ones, uh, plastic wheels, but uh, and they were priced at $4.99 each, okay, so remember that. Oh, where am I putting this? Let me put it over here. Okay, so that comes out at, let's call it £15, okay. Then I bought two more of these little coaches. Oh, I thought there was three. Yes, there is three. <laughs> okay, three more of those. So that's another 15. So that brings us up to 30. And then, finally, in this bag, I managed to get another of those nondescript coaches. And uh, that is, what was that labelled at? It was labelled at £5.50 on the bag. So that comes out to, at about £35. I thought that was a little bit expensive, but she did it for me for 30 So uh, I'm really happy with those for £30. And uh, to be honest, I'm glad I didn't, fight. I didn't pay £5 each for these wagons. They are very, very nice, don't get me wrong. But uh, everybody likes a bargain, don't they? So uh, yeah, that's another one of those coaches, making it a rake of four in total. And uh, yeah, I just, I don't know, I just love a big rake of red coaches don't you I just love seeing them so uh, I'll be really looking forward to getting those going okay we're doing well we're doing well let's have a look what's in here oops that didn't sound good did it right inside here priced at six pounds and I will unbox this for you you can have a little unboxing how excited <laughs> you love unboxings don't you of course you do Okay, metal wheels, an insulated milk van, and I've got five or so of these, I think it's about five, might have six, but uh, definitely six now at least, uh, that was that, and uh, yeah, that was labelled at six pounds, and I bought these from the same guy that I bought those two from, but uh, I went back later and just uh, had another look over his stuff, and then there was also, oh gosh, I'm not sure about, uh, it's embarrassing, but I'm not sure what class this is. But uh, the running number is 1761, and as soon as I finish filming this, I'm going to look that up. But you can too, and let me know in the comments. And that was uh, £25, and so I offered, I offered to pay 30 for this lot, so I got a pound off. So yeah, I think £5 for this, boxed, is a little bit better. And uh, yeah, a lovely Lima diesel. I do like my Lima diesels, so uh, that will be fantastic. And you might have already seen this during my... Uh, uh, my diesel month, um, but uh, yeah, I haven't filmed the diesel month yet, uh, so yeah, that gives you a little idea of how long I've waited, but this wouldn't have been a good video to put out during diesel month, so I'm waiting till afterwards before I put this one out. Okay, this is an exciting one. I mean, they're all exciting, don't get me wrong, but uh, right, some work to do here because uh, some of this stuff is a little bit grubby, a little bit dirty, but uh, I like a challenge and uh, I'm more than happy to accept a challenge if it means I get a little bit of money off. So yes, I did some American videos and obviously a major problem is that I don't really have any American rolling stock. So I bought some of these and uh, these are, let's see, I don't know if the brand is on the bottom, but uh, I'm sure some of you will recognize these. And uh, these are just sort of, uh, I don't know what you call them, box cars I suppose. Quite large wheelbase ones and uh, I noticed the door has come off this one so I'll have to put that back on. Which way does it go? I think it goes on that way. I think it just 
come off the end. So that was labelled at five pounds, but he actually had them at uh, three for ten pounds, so it comes out at about you know just over three pounds each. So I bought a handful of those. Uh, there's another one. Some of these have got like stickers on them where the, the stickers have been ripped off. So I'm going to get some. Uh, I'm going to very carefully try and take those off at some point. But uh, yeah, that's quite nice. A blue one there. I'm just going to check see if I can see a brand on that one. No, I can't see a brand. But uh, yeah, that's a blue one. And then there's a couple of brown ones. Um, that one's all right. Oh no, that <laughs> that one's got a sticker on it as well. But uh, yeah, all the couplings are intact anyway. So that's a brown one, and I think there's another brown one. Yep, there's another brown one, but it's not the same. This one says uh, Hydra Cushion Underframe. Goodness knows. Southern Pacific, anyway, that one. They're all from sort of different railways. Uh, that one is missing a coupling, unfortunately, but that's okay. Um, I still think it's a good price. And there was another one that he had, but it was missing the door, so I thought, yeah, I'm, I'm going to leave that one. Too. Okay, and he also had some British stuff, so I picked up another Red Arrows one, which would have cost me the same, just over three pounds. And this one, I think I've got one of those already, haven't I? The, the Puch or Putch, can't tell whether that's a G or a C, and Co Wagon. Metal wheels, so I picked that one up. Another one of those Southern uh, Animal Livestock Wagons, or whatever it is. Uh, oops, another Kellogg's. <laughs> Obviously, the, the weight has come loose in there, but that's okay, no problem. And then another Arnold Sands wagons with metal wheels, and another one of these lovely green SC wagons. Now, how many is that? I think there was 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, there was 10, and I offered him £30 for the lot. So, yeah, £3 each. I think that's quite good. Maybe these are not brilliant for £3, but these certainly I thought were quite good. Okay, I'm just going to go and blow my nose because I've got bad hay fever at the moment, so uh, I don't want to be disgusting you by continually sniffing all the time, so I'm going to go and do that. <laughs> or I might leave it in for fun, I don't know. No, I won't. Uh, I'll do that right and I'll be right back. Just a couple more bits to show you. There we go, that's done. I've had a nice drink of water. Right, uh, let's go with this one next. Right, now this one, again, I have to confess, I don't know what the class of this is. Is it one of those J94s again? I'm not sure. It's a little Hornby 060 anyway, but I was drawn to it because it was in that uh, Great Northern Railway livery. Just look at that. And uh, that was up for £39.75. So there you go, that's that. And I bought something else from him as well. Oh, this was nice. Now, I do have some of these, but they're Hornby ones and they're not very good. So I bought this. This is a Backman class 25 slash one, in fact, uh, Bobo, but it's in green, so that was lovely. And that was uh, labelled up at, uh, let's see here, £57.75. So I offered him 90 and uh, I'll have to do the maths on that later because I'm not that good at maths. But if you can do the maths as well, then uh, you'll know that uh, I got those at a little bit of a discount there. So uh, very happy with those, especially the Backman class 25. So uh, I'm going to have to give that a try, aren't I, and see, uh, see how I get on with that. But uh, yeah, very excited about that. Again, that's probably going to end up in the diesel month, so you might have seen that already. Okay, last bag then. And I'll forget what's in this one. Ah, ah ha ha. A bag with some little wagons and things in it. Okay. Oh, look at these. Oh, they're like little lunch bags. Can't eat these though. Well, I suppose you could 7-Up. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't like 7-Up, but I like the wagon. So, uh, yeah, I thought that was nice. Uh, I forget entirely. I think I paid £20 for this bag. So, uh, yeah, we'll work that out in a minute. So, a 7-Up wagon. That's very nice. And uh, I just thought some of these wagons I've not got any of. So uh, I just thought I could make a train with these and put some random wagons on it. Um, bulk Soda Ash, whatever that is. Again, uh, that one's a mainline one with uh, plastic wheels again, but uh, still very, very nice, don't get me wrong. Okay, this one obviously we have seen before, but it's a little bit of a variation on it. It does say Arnold Sands, but uh, I've not ever seen one, I don't think, which says uh, Leighton Buzzard on the side of it. So that's quite nice. Metal wheels as well. There we are, put that down. One of the wheels is going mad on it. This one was nice. I really like this one. I assume it's mainline because it's got those mainline couplings on it. But uh, there we are. This one says Bedwas Coke or Bedwas Coke. Sorry. Uh, yes, it is mainline with some very dirty, I must say, plastic wheels. But again, I thought that was good for the price. I think these were three for ten pounds, and I don't think I tried to barter with this guy because I thought that was quite quite good and that they were in very good condition too. Okay, this is a Southern Railways uh, livestock wagon, and when I picked it up out of his tray. 
Um, I noticed that the uh, the top came off, but I thought that's all right because what I might do is try and put some weight in the bottom and then glue the top back on. But uh, it had metal wheels and it had its coupling, so I thought, you know what, it's not really worth any less because the body comes off, is it? So yeah, that was okay. And the last item of today is uh, another wagon that I do recognise, I think I do have one. Uh, this is a Triang one, so it's going back a bit. It's one of those Norstand wagons, it says uh, Fish Docks Grimby, Grimsby. So uh, I think uh, we'll have to get Henry to pull this with his flying kipper. So uh, yeah, six wagons there for 20 quid, uh, so that comes out at three for 10 pounds, of course. Okay, well, let's do everybody's favourite part then, and when I say everybody's, I mean mine. Uh, and that's when I put everything in the shop together. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's have a go at that, shall we? But uh, yeah, that's another very expensive <laughs> outing for me. Um, yes, as I say, I know it's naughty and I know I shouldn't be spending that kind of money at a train fair, but uh, as I say, they don't come that often and I have been saving for it since the last one, so it's been a good few months of saving and I've not been binging very much on eBay recently too, so uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't say I deserve this, but uh, I think I've earned it a little bit and uh, I've been quite busy with all the, the servicings and the diesel month and everything like that. So I thought a little treat uh, wouldn't go amiss. So uh, yes, and I say a little treat, it's not a little treat, but it's quite a big treat. But uh, I hope we'll all get some enjoyment out of seeing this lot, won't we? I know I will and uh, hopefully you will as well. Um, and it just freshens things up a little bit, doesn't it? Uh, just to see a few different rolling stock going by once in a while or some different engines or something like that. Yes, you can't go wrong, can you? And some loco. Whoops. I always forget that these Lima boxes slide off at the top. Let's see how many locos I ended up with then. So that's one, two, three, four. Love that one. Got to unbox that one. Five, the class 25. Love that one. Got to unbox that one. Six. <laughs> Wow, so that is quite a lot of stuff there, and uh, as I say, I got this for considerably less than you'd expect to pay on eBay, so I'm very happy with that. Sorry that this is a little bit indulgent, I know that it is, and I'm sorry, but uh, yeah, um, <laughs> oh, I'm just quite pleased, I'm quite chuffed to be honest, pun intended. So there you go, that's another train fare um, <laughs> spending spree. I probably won't go to another one for quite a while because uh, obviously I will feel guilty about this lot for some time. But uh, yeah, until next time then, uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Cheers everybody.